Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I update my firmware on my ICOM IC7300. The current version that I have is version 1.30, and the latest version that was released by ICOM was in July of 2021. That version is version 1.41, and there are some new features on the new firmware. Stay tuned. Maybe you bought a brand new ICOM 7300 that already has the firmware update, but if you want to verify what version you have, first thing you need to do is push menu, go to set, select others, and then select information. Version. Here you will see your firmware versions. In my case, it's version 1.30. I have an SD card laying around. It's a shack. It's a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card, but you don't need anything that big. I talked to you about my spare SD card. I'm gonna format this inside the radio first. That's my procedure. Uh, first thing, I already have an SD card already inside. I'm going to click on menu, set, SD card. I want to unmount the SD card. Unmounting is basically like ejecting your SD card from your computer so it doesn't corrupt the files, okay? So this is my uh, spare SD card. It's 16 gigabytes. You don't need that much to do this firmware update. You can still use the SD card that you use already for your ICOM 7300. I just don't want to do it that way. This is my method. Okay, so put the SD card in that I'm going to use and I'm going to format it and just click OK. Let it do its thing and once it's complete Again, unmount the SD card. Okay. Now I'm going to install this in my Windows computer. The first thing we need to do is go to the ICOM website. I'll put the link in my description down below. And search for the IC7300. As you see here, this is the latest firmware version 1.41 and that's dated on July 21st. For more information on the the updates, uh, my version is 1.30. You can click on this information IC7300 version 1.41 for more details and that's shown right here. It tells you the the new additions to the firmware and what has been changed. Once you confirm that uh, this is version 1.41 for the ICOM 7300, scroll down and you need to acknowledge you have read and fully understood the agreement above and click download. Now go to your download folder and unzip the file 7300 underscore 141 and you want to copy that file to your SD drive in my case it's a uh, drive E as an echo okay now go to your folder IC7300 double click that and drop or paste that data file it's uh, the file name is 7300 underscore 141 dot dat and then that's it eject your SD drive there you go next step is to plug this in your IC 7300 we are ready to update this is the formatted SD card with the firmware, the latest one, version 1.41. 
put it inside the ICOM 7300 push menu set SD card firmware update the warning about the risk of updating and read all that if you agree with all the above click yes this is the file where it has the data file on it so click on that and if you wish to start the firmware update click on yes and this is the warning of never turn off your ICOM 7300 until the frequency screen is displayed and never remove the SD card okay it'll take about one minute so let's press yes and hold so it starts firmware update it's in progress there's a reboot okay well I believe that it's finished but oh, that was so fast all right, so to double check your version, let's go to menu. Look at that, there's two pages. There's a page two with the presets and the set. Cool. All right, let's go to set. Let's go to, let's go to others. Let's go to information and the version. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's version 1.0. Four, one. All right, let's back out of there. So that was easy. I'm going to take a look at my scope. All right, there are some new features they mentioned. I think it's a center. You hold push and hold that. There's a scroll. Let me zoom in on that scroll feature. Right there, it says scroll. I'm at 20 meters, the band is dead right now. All right, well, there's uh, 40 meters. And the scrolls right there, you can see it. That's pretty cool. Okay, I successfully did the update. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that SD card again properly unmount it it's just like ejecting a SD card out of your computer and put the original SD card back in my ICOM 7300 that's all you need to do you don't need to load anything well there you have it the update to the ICOM IC7300. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. If you like my video, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos. Also, I'm almost at the goal in reaching 1,000 subscribers. Please give me a like on my videos. Leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Until next video, have a great day.